I like the cinema very much and I like painting very much. That's why I make animated films, because with animation it's possible to unite the problems of the cinema, including even telling a story, with movement through the interaction of music and painting. In some of my films, the idea came to me actually from a piece of music. On other occasions, the initial idea was to tell a story, or even a technique, as in my first film, Le Vol d'Icar, The Flight of Icarus. That idea came to me one day as I was looking at one of those luminous billboards on which letters and images are formed by light bulbs turning on and off. You see movement, but the effect is created by electric light bulbs, motionless objects. That was the original idea, which I later combined with harpsichord music. I had a record of a waltz, a sad waltz, an Italian waltz. That music gave me the idea of putting together a whole series of objects turning on themselves, including anything that came to mind. In that film, 78 tours, 78 rpm, I showed two points of view. A subjective point of view, as if the idea was born from the music, and another point of view where we see a man listening to this music from a radio. I also used, in the beginning, films made with a rotoscope technique. This involves first taking real pictures and then drawing the animation on the basis of the scenes filmed live. I'd seen the feature film Yellow Submarine. In the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, this technique was used in a marvelous way. It was the scene of Yellow Submarine that started me using the rotoscope but then I used it less and less. Now, I don't use it anymore because, although it's a very convenient technique that gives perfect movement, has the defect of keeping reality always very present, like when you copy a drawing from a photo. The rotoscope does not allow you to draw freely. You can't make strange drawings or childish strokes. The poetry you can invent with the free hand is lacking. For the film La Course à l'Abîme, The Race to the Abyss, I made a storyboard, as I always do for my films, and then nearly a thousand drawings that follow each other, and which I placed every six seconds on a large sheet of paper. It's the camera that follows the animation moving frame by frame, as in the board game Goose. So, that every six seconds the scene changes. But you don't realize this because it's the camera that reaches each time a new situation. In the end there are 144 drawings this size and it's only at the end that the camera zooms out and we see everything moving together in a six second cycle. The drawings are done with acrylics on black backgrounds. This other film, Zigzag, is drawn on sandpaper. Everything is continuously redrawn, even the backgrounds. It's a very short film, lasting only 20 seconds. The sandpaper is transparent, which enables the animator to work on the light table. 